How are y'all doing over there, man? Let me get a little closer to you people. To all my good friends out there. How's this? You can see I just got my flu shot. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I was sick for two days. Got the big dog right in back of me. Let me reposition you guys. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys, I got I got a flu shot on uh, Friday. This is Monday morning, and um, <clears throat> I was sick for two days from the flu shot, and I thought I was going to get worse. I laid down most of the weekend. Sunday and Saturday was real nice. I couldn't take this out. I was sick as a dog. Now it's raining. As you see, my garage leaks. This is soaked. <clears throat> I'm still a little under the weather. You can tell by my voice. Hey, I want to show you guys something. This is one of my switchblades, man. It's all gold. Gold blade. What's better? What's better than a switchblade? Tell me. I know a switchblade. Same thing, but it's rainbow chrome. Now, what's better? Then two switchblades. Does anyone know the answer to that? That's the million dollar question. Another switchblade. Which that's what I got coming in. I collect knives too. I used to collect guns. I had... <clears throat> I had an AR-15. It was uh, selective fire. I had a street sweeper shotgun, which I sold. I should have kept it because you can't buy those anymore. I had a 357 Colt Python nickel plated, which uh, if I would have kept it, I'd be worth four or five thousand dollars now. Uh, that I wish I would never sold. I had a Colt Peacemaker in 45 Colt. I had shotguns. I had a 3030 lever action. I had an elephant gun. I had a 300 Winchester Magnum. I had nine millimeters semi-autos. I had um, I had the Dirty Harry, 44 Magnum, the 44 Smith and Wesson model 29 Magnum. <clears throat> I'm thinking of buying a Glock 17, gen of uh, fourth gen. Either a Glock 17. I kind of like the Glock 17 because I like how it comes apart. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of getting a Glock 17. And, uh, yeah, but right now I collect guns. Or, not guns, excuse me, knives. I collect knives. I got some nice knives. What I want to talk to you guys about is what I'm going to do to that over the winter. You guys know I'm making a tooled leather seat for it, which I'm going to be buying the leather soon. But besides the leather, we're taking the front wheel off because I want to polish the, um, the aluminum wheels. And I think the only way to really polish them is with them off. So I'm taking them off and while I have them off I'm going to polish the calipers and I'm going to change the um, the dot five fluid with new dot five fluid. Damn my throat. <coughs> God damn it. <coughs> and we're taking the rear wheel off. I have put a rotor on the rear wheel so we're putting a new rotor on it. Changing the dot five fluid for the back and we're going to polish the caliper and the wheel in the back. The tires are brand new. I don't have to replace the tires. So we're doing that. And we're making this, the leather seat for it over the winter. And, uh, yeah, my garage leaks. Leaks like crazy. You can see the... That's all from my roof because I, I need a new roof. What happens is there's a metal beam. See that metal beam up there? 
through the valley in my roof. Since my roof leaks, the water comes down through the valley, comes through that beam, and comes down here. This, this is like a waterfall when it rains real hard. So I have to um, I have to put a new roof on my house. Probably next year we're going to put a new roof on it. Because my roof's like 35, 40 years old. You know, so it, it needs replaced big time bad. Big time bad, man. Everything, so the rug is soaked in here now, you know, of course, of course it is. Why not, right? Why not? The rug soaked, motorcycle soaked. I just finished poly polishing the triple trees up too, and they're soaked now. What I should do, well, see, the thing is, I'm, I was thinking of moving this in, into my house. I was thinking of making a, uh, a doorway big enough where I can bring this in my house, but I... I started up over the winter, so I can't start it in the house. So this has to stay in here. I, I, I should get a cover for that, though. That's what I should do. I also want to talk to you guys, man. All this BS I'm hearing about the environment, you know, people want to save them. There's nothing wrong with the environment. You know, there's no carbon munitions. Don't believe none of this crap, my friends. It's all BS, man. You, we live on the Earth, okay? Stuff happens. The Earth is not a easy planet to live on. It feels me, you understand? You know, stuff happens here. There's earthquakes. There's tornadoes. There's floods. You know, there, there's all kind of stuff happening in this world. Don't believe what these people are feeding y'all. Don't believe what they're drip feeding you, that the, the Earth's environment, the, the, the ice is melting, and it's all bull crap. You live on the Earth. Stuff happens. Okay? The Earth will mend itself. You know, and they want to change everything over to electric. Do you realize what will happen? to your taxes? How is the elderly going to afford anything like that? Your taxes will go up so high, you'll have to have electric trucks. Uh, you, your taxes will go up so high, you'd be lucky you can afford to feed yourself. What's going to happen to the elderly? How are they going to survive? Or no one gives a crap about the elderly? Well, guess what? You're going to be the elderly someday. And so will I. But you know, I hear this bull crap every single day on the news about everyone's everyone's staging protests about the environment. Don't believe none of it. Take your spray paint, take your can of spray paint, go outside, empty out the whole damn can into the atmosphere. Start up your motorcycle. Burn it extra, extra lean on purpose. Take your catalytic converters off your car. Make more pollution. They make as much pollution as you possibly can. That's why I love this motorcycle. It gets about five miles to the gallon, and that's on a good day. That's why I take it easy. More gas I burn, the happier I am. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>